Hey guys, just to show you something really cool, like this is the old aim offset and uh, this is aiming when first person, so when you are taking the character rotation from the control directly. Uh, this is the standard aim, it's taking the aim offset variable instead of just aim pitch. And here is the look, procedural look, and uh, it is more complex because this was using just three spine bones and this one was using also head, neck and also rotating uh, hands as well and pelvis and well, basically everything so this was a full posture solver so I've made a new one because we're using virtual bones I can show you what's the difference so <clears throat> if you go into our character I just swap the main mesh to this zombie guy and if we go into the zombie guy and we open him as a mesh and we show bones you can see that his spine 1 is just this short one here this is spine 2, this short one here and this is spine 3 so the mannequin mesh which we'll see in a second let's open this guy as well let's go just here characters, mannequin, mesh and here is the schedule mesh so the construction of the skeletal mesh of the mannequin is that he has one, two, three very long spine bones and then a short neck and this is the head bone. And he has very short uh, clavicles, very sh uh, short uh, shoulder blades uh, and very long hands. So this is how he is being constructed. And when I was using this solver to do procedural aim offset, I can show you if you go here, you just change this to the mannequin and now we are using the all day offset. I look okay this looks junky well, let's pick up a weapon let's take the weapon and now when I'm aiming up and down he's bending his entire spine so it doesn't look that bad doesn't look good either right but he's uh, still holding uh, everything as he should in his hands oh let's change it to this zombie guy play and if we play now we can go with this guy and pick up the weapon and now if I aim up <laughs> he will bend like this aim down it's not as bad but it's bad as well so how can we solve it well now that we are using virtual bones uh, and our hand position is being calculated at the very end of all solvers we can do this and instead of using three bones we can use five bones so let's connect this one here and this one here and I can show you the difference so now from third person perspective a uh, character creator character we look up like this, which makes a lot more sense, and looks down like this. And let me show you from first person perspective. Let's just make it. Okay, so, so how to show the new aim offset? Now that you pick up again, and you can see it from the first person perspective, the left hand adjustment and from the third person perspective the spine, neck and hand are rotating together so that's a lot better also a second very small addition is that inside the core uh, I'm graph now in the linked uh, IK solver there's an aim offset type as well and this aim offset type is driving the uh, right and left hand IK position so we're doing just slight IK and full IK depending if we are aiming or not so if we don't have any aim offset or we have a look at aim offset which is uh, you know just rotating the head mostly uh, then we want to adjust the hand position just slightly by the head move like this is our base pose if I look down my hands won't go back if I go up my hands won't go uh, forward that much they will just a little bit 
so that looks a lot better when we are unarmed okay so this is the new aim offset and the new weapon aim offset <laughs> 